to pop off in your true rival game in here! <laughs> What's up everyone, I go by Rifle, and thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty interesting glitch that can be done in Destiny. Before I get started with this, I want to give credit where credit is due. A very small YouTuber that goes by Wedgie Ninja is actually the founder of this. He found this back in January sometime, I think it was January 17th, 2017. And he recently done an updated video saying how this can be done. And he also showed that this can be done in PvE. It's just very rare when it does happen because you're going to have to get suppressed by a grenade of some sort. He was demonstrating this against Kexus, the Betrayed, and the Prison of Elders, just to show that it can be done also in PvE. I tried to go up against Kexus just to show you guys that it could be done in the PvE world, but unfortunately I had no luck finding them. I will say though, there isn't much you can do with this glitch, but it's pretty cool to try out and actually see how it feels playing in third person with a weapon. Honestly, they should add this as a Destiny 2 feature where you can choose to be in third person or first person. I mean, we get to play in third person with the sword and it really isn't that big of a deal playing in third person with it. I mean, sure, you can look around corners and whatnot if you want to be super MOG in the PvP world or actually going out and fighting or hey, maybe in the PvE world it's useful as well. But I'm just saying, like, it's not game breaking and they should definitely consider adding this as a feature. Anyways, all you have to do, unfortunately, this can only be done on the Stormcaller, as far as I know, and also the Founder knows. We did try it with Sunbreaker and Blade Dancer as well in the PvP world, but we just couldn't get it to work. How this is done is you want to pop your Stormcaller right as soon as you're about to get tethered. And if done correctly, you will end up being in third person. Now, I was trying this with a suppressor nade as well as having my buddy throw a suppressor nade at me. And once again, I couldn't get it to work while doing that, but I'm pretty sure it might be possible. I don't see why it wouldn't. It's basically the same effect as getting tethered. And like I mentioned before, I did try this with Blade Dancer and Sunbreaker as well because I was thinking, hey, maybe this could work with basically any type of third person roaming super, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Maybe you guys can get it to work, and if you do, hey, maybe consider making a video over it to show proof that you were able to get it to work or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's literally that simple to get this going. If you don't get it your first couple tries, all I have to say is just keep going at it, and eventually you will get it to work. If you don't, I don't understand why, because this is not patched, and I don't picture this to ever be patched because this isn't something game-breaking. But for instance, the infinite supers though, now that is game-breaking. That's understandable to be patched, but this, no, I don't see why Bungie would take the time to try to patch this because first off, you can only do this really in a custom game if you're trying to purposely do this. Then again, you might be able to do this in a regular PvP match, but why on earth would you waste your super to go in third person unless you play a lot better in this view then hey, maybe that could be the reason. Other than that, I really don't see the purpose of this. And once again, it's very random in the PvE world. You're going to have to find an enemy that will end up suppressing you with something. So, yeah. And I will say, as gameplay-wise goes while doing this, it's a lot of fun. Like, it's super easy to land shots with anything. Sniper, super simulant, your primary, anything. It's extremely easy. Maybe that's why Bungie decided not to add this as a feature and only make it so we can go third person with the sword because you have to get up close and personal with the sword to get a kill. And they're like, all right, that's all right. But with a weapon, you don't have to, and it makes it a lot more easier to actually land your shots. That's just my opinion. Maybe it'll be different for some of you guys. Some people were actually saying that this reminded them of Uncharted game style. I don't really know. I haven't played that game much. What does this remind you of? You know, this third person glitch. My buddy that I was playing with in this game said it reminded him a lot of GTA 5. But yeah, I guess that's us wrapping this up. And if you made it this long into the video, I want you guys to know I am doing a giveaway of a Nintendo Switch. And it's very simple to enter this giveaway. All you have to do is simply leave a like on the video and also subscribe if you haven't. And make sure, make sure, once you subscribe, to hit that bell and stay notified with my videos. Because I will be doing this giveaway in about three weeks to a month. And that is how I'm going to be choosing the winner. I'm going to be choosing one person that is actually notified by my videos. Because I feel like those people are supporting my content the most. Anyways, I'm out of here. Hopefully you end up having some fun with this. Maybe some of you guys could create a machinima out of this, or maybe you just want to experience what it feels like to shoot in third person. I don't know. Either way, hopefully you end up having some fun. Peace.